Right now we're going north of the state line. We're going to talk some boys soccer, and we're going to talk to a team that uh, went to state last year, Beloit Memorial, the Purple Knights, and Coach Brian Denew. And Coach, when you look at last year, and I did my homework today a little bit more, you guys just had a dream season, didn't you? Yeah, we did. You know, it, it kind of all came together. Um, it's something we've been working for for a long time. A lot of the kids uh, that we had on our team last year, the kids who started in our program as freshmen um, and sophomores, and kind of took their lumps for a few years, but um, worked hard and developed into a, a really solid team. And, um, you know, things, things really went our way, and, and uh, you know, sometimes you're lucky uh, to get a few bounces go your way, and we did we had that, but we also, you know, competed well against some of the top teams, and it was really, really a fun year, and hopefully we're, our goal right now is to replicate that to the best of our ability. So we're, the kids are hard at it already. And it's something you build on, isn't it, too? You've been there six, six, seven years now over there at Beloit Memorial, and it, is that something that the kids start to learn what you like and how the flow of the game goes and all those type of things? Yeah, you know, um, we, we spent our first couple of years kind of helping our kids understand uh, the way that you, we wanted to play. Um, and now we have kids that have uh, bought into that, and um, we had, you know, this year we had record numbers. We had over 80 kids that, that wow. came to try out. So um, it's kind of, you know, a wildfire down here in Beloit, or up here in Beloit. So uh, it's a lot of fun, you know. You know, we have great kids, wonderful families. Um, we have lots of, you know, brother combinations that either play for us now uh, together or, you know, kids who, whose brothers have come up through the system. So, um, it's really great to see, you know, everyone kind of buy into what we're doing and, and embracing the, the hard work that it takes to, to get to where the kids got last year. And I know there was a lot of excitement last year, your first trip to state uh, for boys' uh, soccer, and that's got to be quite an experience for you guys. Yeah, you know, it was, it was. Um, I don't want to say it's unexpected. You know, we always thought that, that last year was kind of a, would be the start of our, our, our really great chances to, to, to keep going on to that level. Um, but at the same time, you know, when it's something that's never been done before, um, it's, you know, it's, it's really special for sure. And uh, the regional sectional that we're in is very, very competitive. Um, we were actually, just, I think our record going into the playoffs and seeding was 16 and 16, 2, and 3, or 5, or whatever, something like that. And we still ended up with the fifth seed in our, in our bracket. That's how, you know, solid the teams are. Um, but along the way, we, we knocked off two of the teams that were ranked in state, and we just kind of, uh, you know, that kind of regained that momentum and the kids were feeling feeling good about themselves. And, and I think that, that that confidence I've seen it this summer and, and again into the fall now that we started our season on Monday. Um, but definitely, uh, definitely a big thing for our program and for our city and our community and the families of our players and the school body really bought into everything. And, you know, it's, um, well, we don't quite have as many people as they do at football games, but mm-hmm. our fans are pretty packed. Uh, to come watch soccer, I know we, we get compliments all the time from opposing teams that, that, that really like the atmosphere that happens at Boy Memorial. And I know you uh, had a tough loss in that uh, game in state against Menominee Falls, but is that something you can build off as you get ready for this year as well? Yeah, you know, um, I, it, keeps, it keeps us hungry. It keeps us grounded knowing that, you know, you're so close and, and you kind of have it pulled away from you at the end there and, um, you know, some things happen, and it's definitely, you know, our kids have kind of embraced the model of unfinished business this year. Um, they, they, we know that, that we want to do what we did last year, but we want to go even further, and we had definitely have the horses to, to, to make that happen. Um, but definitely, definitely something that the kids have, have embraced, and, um, you know, they're, they're going to definitely, they've been working hard to build upon it this summer, and, and you can tell it's, it's going to pay off here in the fall. And already in the state, in Wisconsin up there, they respect you already. You're uh, number four in the preseason uh, coaches poll up there, and, and that's just saying that we think you guys are going to continue to do well, and that's that's got to feel good as you start this year. Yeah, you know, and uh, that's what we talked about with the kids. Like, you know, they were pretty pumped up about it. And um, the, the, the neat thing about being ranked in the preseason is just earning that respect from programs across the state. Um, you know, we, we uh, our program has kind of been an afterthought for for ever until the last few years and you know we've steadily been improving and, and making those strides and just to see uh coming into a season and having those expectations from other folks it's nice to see um and you know our kids are eager to prove you know that last year wasn't just kind of a blip on the radar that that's mm-hmm. how things are going to be from going forward and we have you know we have a, a pipeline of kids um you know from fifth grade on up that, that i feel you know that we've kind of been monitoring and watching 
making sure that they stay on the up and up, and, and uh, that we're, we're going to be doing this for a long time. You know, when you look at a, a good soccer team, you need some good offensive firepower up front. How does your team look this year? And tell us about some of the kids you're counting on, Coach. Sure. Our, um, our, leading, goal sc- our leading retreating goal scorer is a, a kid named Jose Marron. He's a, a senior this year. Um, he scored 82 career goals coming into this, this year. So um, I think he had 30 last year, 20 the year before, or 22 when he was a sophomore, and 20 last, uh, as a freshman. So he's you know, he's definitely on, on teams, uh, you know, they, he's in their scouting report. He's probably the first one. Um, he's the leading scorer in the entire state coming back. Um, so that's, you know, that, that's another big thing. Uh, so he ran along with uh, a young man named Ricardo Ramos, who's also a senior. Um, he had 25 goals, I believe, last year. But he is he's coming to this, uh, this, this ball this week has been, you know, we have some pretty good defenders, and they haven't been able to contain him at all. So I can't wait to unleash those guys a little bit on Saturday in our scrimmages, and then next week we get at it with uh, a game on Tuesday, and then we play two ranked teams on, on next weekend. So, um, yeah, we get after it pretty quick, but, but we had those two guys along with uh, Alberto Martinez was going to score some goals for us this year. Um, and, you know, we have a whole slew of, of younger guys ready to step up and, and take over some of the some of the, the goals that, that we'll lose with some of the guys who graduated. And you talk about your defense, that they get a workout against some pretty good goal score, scorers. That should make them even better when they play other teams. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, every day in, in practice they're competing against, you know, kids that, that are among the best in the state. So it's going to make them better. Um, and I also think, you know, we have some solid defenders. We have three of our four starting defenders back from uh, last year's team. And then the the young man who will probably so likely fill the fourth role, um, he's you know he he's only a sophomore and he played last year as a freshman too and he's gotten bigger, stronger, uh, faster. So we're you know we're, we're eager to to uh, see how they continue to, to kind of gel and mesh together. Um, you know uh, it's it's uh, it's something that they worked hard on this these last few days and during the summer when they competed in the eight league uh, in Elkhorn. So. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it, everything's kind of coming together pretty well, falling into place. Do you have, like, a quarterback there on the defense? I know a lot of times you have somebody that's working with the goalie to make sure that uh, nobody slips through or anything. Is there somebody back there that you kind of put in charge? Yeah, you know, we they all kind of take uh, uh, some sort of leadership role, but I would definitely say kind of the, the, our captain back, one of our captains back there is a, a kid named Austin Grover. Um, he's an excellent baseball player, too. He plays center field, so he's he's re, you know he's one of the top. Top uh, top defensive players in, in the entire state. He was honorable mention all state last year. Um, just an exceptional athlete. He t- commands the ball in the air very well. Um, he's you know he's kind of the guy that they that they look to back there, and, and other kids uh, kind of feed off his. I mean, he plays with high energy all the time, and he does some pretty amazing things on the, on the soccer field that people kind of shake their head and wonder how he how he's able to jump up and win some of the balls that he does before they become problems. And how about your goalie? Who uh, watches that for you for uh, the Purple Knights? Yeah, yeah. Goalie this year is uh, it's uh, he's a, it's a sophomore. He'll be our starter. His name is Lorenzo Amador. He is last year he played in the field for us. Um, he had about I think he had seven or eight goals. Um, started about half of our games. Um, we lost our goalie from last year. Luis Pedrosa had graduated. He was an excellent goalkeeper. Uh, Lorenzo is a different type of player. Um, Luis was flashy and he'd make a you know a brilliant save. Um, Lorenzo is extremely extremely technical. Um, everything he does is exactly how you would teach someone to do it. You know, I think if he takes himself doing some of the drills and things that he works on, he could probably make some money uh, something on the internet because he's that good. Um, you know, he's just very technical about things and. Um, he's not as tall as Luis, which you know may or may not end up being a problem. But he he does a great job of making sure that that, that he owns his box back there. And I'm looking forward to see him uh, to see him get after it in some games. So he's making that transition from uh, midfield to the uh, goalie. Um, and I think he's I think he's ready for a breakout season at that position. You know, and I, I hear the Hispanic influence with some of the names you've been talking about. And the thing I like about that as a guy that watches soccer and stuff is you got kids that didn't even think about regular football or something else in the fall. Soccer has been what they've grown up with, and they have really turned that program around for you, and it has really helped uh, uh, Beloit Memorial become a power, hasn't it? 
Yeah, you know, we have um, our whole, our, a lot of our varsity players are Hispanic kids, um, kids are growing up playing the game, play, you know, on a couple leagues in the summer. Um, you know, like you mentioned, they most of them didn't grow up playing much football at all. Um, we do have our, one of our, our starting players this year is going to kick for the football team, so that would be a nice little experience along with playing mm-hmm. playing with us, of course. But, um, you know, they're, 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 I, uh, the kids that we have are, are, are hardworking kids and, um, you know, kids that really love the game. And I think if you don't have either of those things or, or even if you just have one of those two things, you, you're not going to set yourself up for success. And, unfortunately, we have a whole roster uh, full of kids that, that love the game and, and work extremely hard to, to make themselves and our team better. And, um, you know, we, it is a nice, it's nice that we have kids that, that have, have played the game, you know, from, from two, three, four, five years old on the, all the way up uh, now. So, yeah, it's, it's you know, the, the Hispanic community is a big part of our, of our soccer team and our soccer program. And, uh, you know, uh, you can tell when you watch our team play and visit the stands that, that uh, they're great kids, great families, and it's a lot of fun. And I'm sure it'd be easy to find you in a crowd because you got to be the uh, only soccer coach I know of right now with the biggest smile on his face because of what you have come back and what you built over there, Boy Memorial. It's got to be a lot of fun right now, doesn't it, Coach? Oh, you know, I have so much fun uh, coaching these kids. Um, you know, they are they they make it. You know, it, it doesn't it really doesn't feel like it's it's much work when you're out there um, on the practice field or you know getting ready on the bus with teams. The neat thing about our kids is, like, they're, you know, they, they've had success, but there's really down-to-earth kids. Um, they're, they, we have a lot of, our kids play with a lot of uh, flair and kind of panache, and they really, um, you know, they really get uh, kind of, you know, they, they enjoy playing the game, which is, it's, it's, it's a joy to watch them, you know. If, um, if, if I was with their coach, I know I'd be sitting in the stands and just enjoying every minute of it, and I think... That's part of the reason that last year was uh, so such a fun season for us. Now, yes, we had a great run, but you know the the community just bought into these kids, and um, you know they are they're great kids on and off the field. They're wonderful academics. Um, we hold soccer camps, and you know these kids, uh, the younger kids that we have that come to our soccer camps, you know, uh, just really look up to these guys, and you know they're they're it, they're, they're a lot of fun. You know, kids, I don't have to worry about on the weekends doing stuff they shouldn't be doing. Um, uh, it's just, you know, it's, it's, a uh, it's, it's, you're, you're correct when you say I have a big smile on my face, because every day I, I certainly do. You know, I think you open your season the 25th against, is it Stoughton? And what are you hoping to see in that uh, first game for Beloit after, uh, waiting a whole year to get back on the field again? You know, I think the kids are, uh, the kids are just excited to get, start playing games. You know, it seems like, you know, we're only three days into practice, so you, that might not be the case, but... They are um, they're, they're ready to go. They they want to get out there. Um, Stone's a team that historically we've had fairly close games with last year. Um, it was it was a one sided game. I think we won seven to two uh, at the end of the season. But they you know you never know that first game. You're mm-hmm. kind of working some things out, trying to make find those pairings and uh, you know the the lineup that that works the best together and making sure that the kids at the beginning of the year you're not overworking them and 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 you want to get get some of the younger kids some experience as well. So, you know, um, I think if, if we play well, we should we should have a fairly decent outcome in that game. Um, and then on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, we're playing in a tournament in Pewaukee against uh, two really good teams. Appleton Xavier will be the first game. And then you can either play Pewaukee, Oregon, and Appleton. And then all three of those teams end up. So all four of the teams in the tournament are all ranked in the state. So it's going to be good competition and um, you know, we wouldn't want it any other way based on, on the way things went last year. Well, Coach, thanks for taking so much time out with us today, and I know you guys are busy with practices right now, but uh, I think we're going to be talking to you probably later in the year when you're heading down the state again, so good luck to you and the Purple Knights. All right, hey, thanks so much for having us on. We appreciate it. We've been talking to Beloit Memorial Boys soccer coach Brian Deneu. Uh They're going to hope to try to return to soccer uh, state finals again this year in Wisconsin. For the StateLineSportsHub.com, I'm Dave Schmidt.